What's good, sneaker fam? Welcome back to our sneakers. Before I start this video, I do have two announcements. The first one is that I finally did start my vlog channel, and the name of the channel is called Our Vlogs. So original. And you can go check that out in the description down below. There is something that says my vlog channel, and just click on that if you're interested. The second announcement is that I'm actually now recording on my camera on my phone just because I was vlogging and I saw that the quality was way better than it was on my DSLR for some reason. Not only that, but it was actually the front face camera. So I don't know how the audio is gonna be on this video, but I'm hoping it's not too bad because I do wanna record on this camera since the quality is better. It's not gonna be like pixely like it was on the DSLR at times. And the third announcement is that the Yeezy raffle is live. You can go check that out in my store. It's rsneakers.bigcartel.com. That is also in the description down below. You just click on it and then buy the amount of entries that you want. It is limited to 100 entries, so if you're looking to get Yeezys for $10, hop on it. Anyways, moving on with today's video, we do have a new pickup of last week, actually. I wanted to make this video earlier, but I've just been so busy I didn't have a chance. From the title of the video, you guys already know, and from the beginning of this video, I'm pretty sure you might know as well. I did pick up the Jordan 1 Shattered Backboard Away colorway. And obviously you guys already know the Jordan 1 box. It's a pretty simple box. I'm not really going to go over it. You guys have already seen it plenty of times. Nothing really special. If it was special, then I would go over it, but it's the same Jordan 1 box. Moving on to the shoes. We do have the Air Jordan 1 short, shorter backwards. The Air Jordan 1 Shattered Backboard Away colorway. This shoe is very, very nice. I mean, I don't know. I've, just, I've lately been starting to get into ones. That's really like, I think the only Jordan I like. I hear a lot of people going crazy on the quality on these. I mean, the toe box really does have a nice uh, pigskin leather. I think this is what the material is called, I'm not even sure. But if I'm not mistaken, it is pigskin. I don't want to sound like an idiot. And then you do have it behind the swoosh here, and then you have it on both on the other side as well, inside and outside. And I'll try to show you guys that. Look how nice that quality is if you push down on it. What I like about it is that when it creases, it just has that natural look to it. The only problem is that this leather right here does not look like the shattered backboard leather. I mean, it is obviously the same leather, but it looks like it's a better material on the first one. Overall, this is a typical Jordan 1 other than those two spots. Um, then you have your leather here. I mean, this shoe is all leather, except on the tongue. Honestly, my opinions on this shoe is that it is a little too orange for me. Like, I like the first version because you have the orange here and then you have the black and it has a really nice look to it. But, I'll take them. Like, I'm glad I got these. These were, these were pretty limited. I saw the launch locator for Foot Locker. And it was it was way more limited than the Jordan 1s. And I'm surprised I even got them. Excuse me. I did get these off the Foot Locker reservation app. And I'm lucky. I scored them 3 for 3 right now since the Bread 1s. I've got the Bread 1s, the Yeezys, and these off that Foot Locker reservation app. Only for Foot Locker, though. I haven't got it from anywhere else. But... Shout out to them. Thank you for picking me, or I don't even know how you guys do it, but shout out to Foot Locker. So going over a quick overview of the shoe, you have orange here, 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 and here. Then you have the black swoosh, and then you have the white background, basically. And it has black laces, and you also get white laces. I might just go with the white laces, to be honest. Actually, not much go with black, because you have the black swoosh, and it's pretty dope. I wish I had the first shadow backboard to compare it for you guys, but I don't. So I'm sorry for that. And you also have orange here and then white Nike Air. And behind you have what it says on all Jordan 1s. I love that little detail. My favorite part of this shoe is the insole. I didn't want to take it out because it was glued down. But this is my favorite detail of the whole shoe. And what I like about it is that on the inside of this shoe, you do have the other side of the rim basically. That's a rim with the net and then you see all those little shattered pieces. It's a backboard. That's all the glass that was broken. And on this one, you can, oh my God. You can kind of see it. It kind of com uh, complements the other side of the rim or completes it. I don't even know what I was looking for there. And if you guys didn't know the history of this shoe, this shoe was made because Jordan did go to Italy to play for a charity game. And their color of the uniforms were orange, white, and black. And during the game, he went to go dunk and he broke one of the backboards, broke the glass from pulling down to the rim too hard. So that's basically the history of these, except I think he was wearing the first. I don't even know if he was wearing them or not. I can't even see in the video. But they made it in honor of that game, and this is the away colorway. So, 
So now you guys have a good understanding of this shoe. The shoe did retail at $160. After tax came out to like 170 something. I'm not complaining. I'm glad it's that cheap because lately Jordans have been really expensive. Like the Cyber Mondays are 190. It's almost two, that's $200 after tax. Like, come on Jordan brand or Nike, whoever is putting the prices on these things. Y'all need to go back to like 10 years ago when you were selling them for below 160. Since I have nothing else to say about this shoe, let's get on top on foot. So that pretty much wraps up these shoes. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below about the new Shattered Backboard colorway. Let me know which one you like better, the first version or the second version, so the home or the away. I personally like the home one better, but I wasn't able to get my hand on those. That's why I wasn't really that in Jordans, and now I'm finally getting back into them ever since the bread ones dropped. And for those of you that do watch the reselling series, I'm sorry for not posting that today. It will be posted probably Wednesday because tomorrow I have to do the copper drop videos. So I'm really sorry for that. I just wanted to get this out the way. And I forgot to say on Friday, thank you guys so much for helping me get to 500 subscribers. Right now we're actually at 530. I got to 500 on Thursday or Friday or some sometime in between then. And I'm just, I just wanna thank you guys a lot. It really means a lot to me. Um, please keep subscribing. My next goal is to get to 1,000 by the end of this year. And the way I saw the channel grow from Thursday to today, which was like 30 subscribers or from Friday to today, um, I really know we can do it guys. So please keep hitting that subscribe button. Please if you enjoy these videos Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let me know if you, that you guys are enjoying them It gives me a lot of feedback on what I'm doing. I appreciate you. You loyal You smart. I probably got the order wrong whatever, but Until the next video Don't forget to stay woke. Our sneaker signing out. Peace